What footwork this kid has. Step, step, jab, finish. No kiss. He's a winning player. Bill Bolton telling us before the game the difference between this year's team and last year's is toughness, grittiness. Get after it. And he is a physical guy now. Uh, and Saga on a 6-0 run to come back to within two. They got to run their motion though. Don't be standing still right now. They look a little tired. Guys bent over a little bit. There's your guy. Wow, is he back in the Spacing, making himself available on that drive by Jordan, who alertly kicks it back. How many Keller, the only scholarship senior on the Illinois roster from Port Arthur, Texas? Kick out, lots of ball movement. Bolden gets a clean look. Doesn't go, and the rebound's taken down by Mike Davis, who had 20 points and 17 rebounds for the Illini in their last game, a come-from-behind win over previously unbeaten Northwestern. Don't be in a hurry now if you're Illinois. Toughen up defensively. Look at this kid. Other Davis this time. Keller out top. Mike Davis. Look at where he's catching the ball. Look where he caught the ball right at the rim. The Gonzaga roster. He moves well. As These kids played very well. Right, he's got a nice looking stroke. Most seven footers don't from the free throw line. He's built like his daddy, don't you think? Broad shoulder, first time, three quarter court, one, two, two. Let's see a little wrinkle, and he may have walked. And a quick shot, uh, blood hustle. It's Jordan again. Almost came up with it. Jeff Jordan, Michael Jordan's son, uh, has really ignited Illinois when they were down by 21, coming off the bench. Defending, forcing turnovers, getting deflections, those hustle points. Well, he's got to be proud of him. Another double screen slip. Well, they're quick to get double up on the ball. Wow. Nice ball. Unselfish play by Gray. And Bolden delivered. And today, Bill, uh, Jeff Jordan has a career high seven assists. Mm. Down inside of four minutes to play. And the Illini with a one point lead. They've led by eight. And they've trailed by 21. Davis. Tough shot. A little too distant for the jump hook. And the Olenek body out caused that. Oh, Olenek surely just whacked his guy. See how they pinned down there? The gap and Bolden with a great look to the basket. All that dribble exchange set that up. A little hesitation. Put it on the deck and get to the rim. And the camp question has been answered. Can the Zags come back? And they indeed did. They took the lead. And now the Illini take it right back. Tell you what, the other end just good basketball. Keller. A big factor. The Illini getting 19 off their dents. And Zag only eight pinch points. And the one-point lead holds for the Illini as now they'll run some clock. We're down to three minutes to play in the game. Maybe not. Maybe we'll go longer. This is a freshman guard, Brandon Paul. He's got the long-range jumper. He was the Illinois High School Player of the Year last season. They tried to pin down baseline bumps, flex cut for McCamey. Look at Goodson's speed to the game. Tough shot. Tough shot. Missed it up. It was a good Who's pass. there? Who's there, though? Jordan, and now before the shot clock expires, the long shot by Paul is no good, and here come the Zags looking to take back the lead, down by one. Oh, it. Jordan it. comes up with it. A defender back. Had to switch to the right hand because of Goodson's defense. On the other end, Bolden really should have shot at himself. Here they come again. Apparently, this Harris can put the ball on the floor okay. also. That's what makes him a graze another guy. They can all beat you with the bounce. Picking down to two minutes in regulation left. Illini by one. Not a good match for Bolden in here, I don't think. Too big, Kelly. Right. Knocked away. McCamey brings it back down court for the Illini. And Bolden. And, and that's not a play that Bruce Weber wanted. Even though there was a bump, that's where McCamey has to take over. You get the feeling, Bill, that somebody's going to launch at the buzzer in this one. <laughs> what a great comeback and effort by Illinois. And 
Zags hanging there. It's tough. Nice step through. Oh, what a kiss. Good on these bank shots. Oh, they just know how to play. They play loosely because it comes from the bench. Stephen Gray with the bucket. 18 points for the day for the Zags. A yeah, few Rice, Lloyd, these kids, they've been with them for a while. One point lead for Gonzaga. Now Illinois oh, takes back the lead. Wow. Dominique Keller with four, with 19. Where's he been? He'll play a lot more. Good. Having a career here today. Nineteen thousand plus. Now the center sold out. Great move for the basket. Well, they have so many weapons in that box area. He's one of the better ones, Harris. And again, the lead changes hands with 40 seconds to play. And Zaga by one. They weren't organized, Illinois. Now Bruce Lurk has to waste it, not in the right spots. We're seemingly gone in this game, down by 21. Well, the freshman driving hard, a great look, and then a reject by Harris, another freshman for the Zags. With a one-point lead, they get the ball, and Illinois has to foul. What a great defensive reaction. A wide open look, and right here, Sacre beaten, but boy, the support inside by Harris. Woo! To the free throw line of Stephen Gray. Ooh, ice. Well, you got plenty of clock. Line eye with no timeouts left. They got to play the ball now with 20 seconds to go and down by three. If you shoot the three and miss, it's going to be tough to win it. There's a long three. Okay, just a great rebound. Now you're stuck with the three. Who better? Oh, oh, tied. Six seconds. Goodson shoots at the buzzer. And we're not done at the end of regulation. It's completed the 40 minutes and we go to overtime. Oh, what a performance. And right here, unfortunately, Goodson is not the guy it would have been Gray, Harris, or Bolden, but you've got to take advantage as he did. And <laughs> nice give back and the inability to cover deep. Sacre just can't get out there.